What's going on people? Life updates. Today my friend Kate and I went to Belgium for the day. We got up at like 3am to get the earliest flight out we could and spend the day in Brussels. It was actually so nice to be like out and about and adventuring and exploring a foreign country again. I didn't really realise how much I'd missed it. Like the last time I went away was Milan in November. We literally didn't even do anything specific. Like we would sort of just wander around and every time we got to like a crossroads or a a turn we were like okay which way looks the most aesthetically pleasing and then we'd walk that way and just see what we found just took the city in really ate some nice food had some nice times it was class not really doing too much this week but sunday which is a week tomorrow i'm going to london for the day just staying overnight because i'm going to watch the 1975 at finsbury park that's going to be sick the whole crew is coming kate's going to be there jacko's going to be there it's going to be class. I will film as much of that as I can. Might catch up between now and then. If not, I'll see you in London. Hey, Sean. Yes? Any Prime? <laughs> Fucking loads of Prime! <laughs> yes, people. Good morning. It is Sunday. Not early, but it feels early. It's almost 10 o'clock. Just got to Jacko's house now. He's going to be driving us down to London. Basically just drop my shit at my Airbnb as soon as I can and then get straight off to Finsbury Park. I want to try and get there. Like, there's a load of people on throughout the day. I want to try and get there to see the Japanese house. Maybe definitely need to be there in time to see bleachers. And then obviously 1975 we're on tonight. And then tomorrow, because I'm driving, I'm coming back up with Jack, but Jack and his girlfriend are probably going to spend a bit of time in London doing cutesy shit. I've booked to go to the Tate Modern to see the Mondrian exhibit. So I've got a bit of a day in London by myself, just chilling it tomorrow, which I'm actually quite excited for. It's always nice to get into a city that you've not spent a lot of time in. I haven't been to London in years, man. Let's do it. It's gonna be fucking sick. See you in London. Peace. This is my tiny little one room Airbnb. I'm gonna shoot back out now to Finsbury Park because it took us longer to get here than planned. Got a tinny courtesy of Jack. Not the one. Hopefully we'll just about manage to make it there in time to see bleachers. Gonna try and meet up with Jack and Ellie on the way. Meet the rest of the gang when we get there. Let's fucking go. Hello and welcome to the Stereotypical Podcast. <laughs> God. I'm God. Talk to me. I'll end in the night. With a little Mars milkshake. And some fucking oats, mate. Out of focus, but living the dream. It is Monday morning, the start of my sort of half day chilling it in London. Yesterday, 1975 at Finsbury Park, it was fucking great. Good time as always, emotional time as always. Got to see bleachers as well beforehand, which is something that I didn't think I'd get to do. I quite like bleachers, they've got a couple songs that mean quite a lot to me. So it was great to be able to see that live and to be to see that live with Jack as well because I know Jack is into them and he's probably the only other person I know who is into them and we have an appreciation for Jack Antonoff. So that was good crack. 
And then, yeah, the 75 were great. They played Change of Heart, which I didn't expect. <laughs> Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. Lovely. So yeah, that's this is Seven Sisters Road. Seven Sisters train station is like right there. I, how did I have this set up? Why is it so low? <laughs> I also found out yesterday, and I'll try and insert this clip if I can get it off there. My friend Kate, who I went to Brussels with at the start of this video, a while ago applied to work at Disney in in Florida and I found out yesterday she got the job. So she's moving to America, which is crazy. She like it took ages to, for them to find us once we were in the gig. Pretty much as soon as she got to us, she was like, oh let's get a picture. I was like, you've literally just got it, my don't be rude. But she's like, I'll oh, say cheese. Say cheese. Fuck off. No way. So yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, right, I'm gonna get on with my day. See you in wherever I end up next. Look at this absolute picture of London, right? Shard there, and you've got Shakespeare's Globe there, and I'm under the Millennium Bridge, just across from the Tate. Down there, as you can see, Tower Bridge. London, baby. So where I am currently is in the Barbican, which actually it's just a place I've always found really interesting, just because of the architecture and the history behind it, and how it's like very brutalist but also like very green. It's very fucking windy though. I also have no idea where I'm going. This place is like a fortress. It's huge. It's not very well signposted, but I'm not really going anywhere with any purpose anyway. I'm just sort of wandering about. I was going to go to Borough Market for lunch but apparently it's shot on a Monday so hence the five guys standard lower five guys I'm going to try and find the gardens bit where I can just chill it I don't know where the fuck I'm going Socialist brutalism, 
close greenery. I'm a happy guy, man. Back home. Very tired. Very much looking forward to getting in that bed. What a great two days it's been in London. Obviously, 1975 yesterday was unreal. It's great to see them as always. Seen them like I don't know, probably like four times now, but it's always good. It's always a great show. And then today was lovely. That exhibit was cool. It was mainly there for the Mondrian stuff, to be honest, because I do like Mondrian. But it was also cool to get. I can't remember what the other art artist was called. I'll put it on the screen now. But um, it was great to see their art as well. I actually had some minor epiphanies while looking at it that I need to mull over and may. I might discuss in a future video, but anyway, and then yeah, it was cool to go to the Barbican because I've admired that just as a concept. You know what I mean, as a as a place, as a you know the iconic place that it is for quite a while. So it was just chill to get to go and wander around there. Car journey back took it out of me not as much as it probably took it out of Jack who was driving. Shout out to Jacko as always. It doesn't seem to be a Liam McGrath vlog without Jacko appearing in it lately. What a guy. We actually shared a proper bromance moment, man, last night at the 75. Joe and Lovett, if we made it, we were just, like, shouting the words into each other's faces. It was, yeah, what, what a dude, man. What a guy. But, yeah, man, my heart's very full. I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy dude. What time? I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. Might be a short one. I don't really know what the fuck I've filmed, to be honest. Brussels. The same video, yeah. Brussels was last week. London this week. Thanks for watching, as always. Like subscribe, check out the other videos, done a load of travel shit last year, done a load of like think pieces and then vlogs and stuff this year, it's all been great, sound, ciao, bye.